Hello, this is the promotional video of the course Modeling Analysis and Estimation of Three Phase Unbalanced Power Network. In this video, we would like to give you some kind of introduction that uh, what this course is all about. Essentially, you see, uh, when I talk about any transmission network, we usually solve it by assuming that it is essentially a balanced network. But actually, with the increasing introduction of renewable sources, electric traction loads, as well as, let's say, electric vehicle loads, the essentially our distribution system is increasingly getting unbalanced, which in turn makes our power transmission system also unbalanced. Please note, out of these three kinds of loads and generations what we have just now talked about electric traction networks are usually directly fed from the transmission network bulk renewable energy sources are also directly injecting power to the transmission network directly although the electric vehicle loads they are usually connected to the electric distribution network but then because of the unpredictability of the electric vehicle loads, it is just not possible to at all connect this electric vehicle loads in a balanced manner in any electric distribution system. Because of this unbalanced load in the electric distribution system, that effect also ultimately gets reflected into the electric power transmission system. So then therefore, out of these three factors, electric traction network directly affects the unbalanced loading of any power transmission system. Bulk renewable energy sources also directly affect the unbalancedness of the power transmission system. And the electric vehicle loads, they do also contribute to the unbalanced nature of the power transmission system in an indirect way. So then therefore, as a result, in this particular course, we would be essentially talking about the three phase unbalanced power transmission network, although that particular word transmission systems we have omitted because several portions of this course are also directly applicable to the power distribution system networks as well. So we do welcome you to this course. Now this course has got four major components. First component is the calculation of series impedance as well as the shunt admittance matrix of a three phase transmission line. Please note, although here we would be talking about the calculation of the impedance and the shunt admittance matrix of a three phase transmission line, but this particular basic technique is also equally applicable for any three phase unbalanced distribution system. Next topic would be nothing but modeling of three phase transformer. Again, we would be essentially talking about the transformer which is connected to the transmission network, but please note we would be doing the modeling only in the per unit system. So, then therefore, this modeling aspect would be again also directly applicable to the analysis and modeling of three phase transformers which are connected to the distribution system. Third topic is of course exclusive because uh, it will be essentially talking about load flow analysis of a three phase unbalanced power transmission network. Here of course we should have mentioned this particular term transmission. In this particular third component we would be actually talking about load flow analysis of three phase unbalanced power transmission network. This method would not be directly applicable to the load flow analysis of any three phase unbalanced power distribution network because of this fact that usually any three phase unbalanced power distribution network is essentially a radial network. So as a result, the analysis of any three phase unbalanced power distribution network is usually much simpler as compared to the load flow analysis of a three phase unbalanced power transmission network. So then in this course, Essentially, we would be completely uh, concentrating on the analysis of three-phase unbalanced power transmission network. 
then the last topic is the static state estimation of three phase unbalanced power network again although we would be talking in terms of an unbalanced power transmission network but then again this same method same calculations are also more or less equally applicable to the static state estimation of three phase unbalanced power distribution network here we would uh, like to mention that uh, as a background for this course the knowledge of uh, our earlier course computer aided power system analysis would be very very helpful because uh, here in this course many of the basic concepts of the load flow analysis as well as the many of the basic equations of the load flow analysis we would not be really talking about but rather we would assume that the basic method that is basically the basic concepts such as let's say the injected power loads and as well as the relation between the injected power and the load as well as the generation are already known to the participants. Similarly, for this fourth part, also uh, if the basic background given in this course on computer aided power system analysis is already known to the participants that will also be very very helpful for them to understand and appreciate the discussion made in this fourth component of this course we shall be using several books so uh, essentially these four books are actually dedicated to this uh, four different topics. First book is essentially dedicated to the analysis of the lines, power transmission lines. That is essentially the calculation of the series impedance as well as the shunt admittance matrices of a three-phase power transmission line. Second book is we have taken the help of the second book to talk about the modeling of a three-phase transformer. The third book we have taken the material of, uh, for the load flow analysis of a three-phase power transmission network and from the fourth book we have taken the material for the static state estimation please note although this book is uh, essentially talking about the static state estimation of any single phase network but then for any static state estimation techniques basic concepts as well as the basic theory basic theoretical backgrounds remain the same whether it is a case of a balanced network or whether it is a case of an unbalanced network only in the latter case that is for the case of an unbalanced network the equations change and we shall be only talking about these equations here other than that basic technique for any uh, static state estimation technique remains the same which can be easily found either in our earlier course on computer aided power system analysis or from this particular book so this course is essentially a 12 week course spread over 60 lectures each of approximately 30 minutes duration during the course we would be giving you some assignments every week and uh, those assignments uh, would be utilized for the assessment of the understanding on the subject and at the end of the course an examination would be conducted also for those who are interested to get a course participation certificate so we look forward to interact with you during this course and hopefully that we will have a kind of a lively discussion and in this course also there are two tiers one is mr prashanjit kaur and the second one is mr pradhuna pradham both are actually a PhD students in our Department of Electrical Engineering in IIT Roorkee. So, in case of any doubts, any query, you can always get in touch with them and then we all three together will always try to help you out and we always will try to uh, dispel any doubts, everybody of you. Thank you to all and we will start our formal lecture from the next lecture. Thank you very much.